everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel. And by the setup here, you already um, might guess that this is um, not a usual haul or um, something like that. Um, I'm here in my bathroom again to do some uh, curls for you. So this is the video where I'm going to show you how to like treat um, the hair of Cherry Mary Muffin and Lady Lovely Locks dolls. Um, I'm usually more of a, I'm a pony collector, so my little pony generation one, so that's um, that's things that I have done these kind of videos, like restoration, hair, how to, how to curl it, stuff like that. But um, actually those dolls you have to treat differently. So this is, I'm going to show you how to do a boil perm, but also all the stuff that's going on beforehand. So I have here my um, maiden um, curly crown that I have gotten in one of my last uh, unboxings. Um, and like her head was like uh, completely um, like separated from the body. I've already done that, but her hair is like not that nice, you know. I want to have it really super curly, so I'm doing, I um, will do like as many curls as possible on her. And then here we've got the um, Cherry Mary Muffin from the second set of Cherry Mary Muffin dolls, so the one with the crimped hair. And at first I was like, I mean, she still has nice crimped hair, but I definitely want to wash her. And I know that when I'm like washing this this kind of hair and like combing, brushing it through, then I will probably like lose a lot of that crimp. So I'm going to attempt on redoing that as well. I've never done that. I will like um, like do braids for that. So I have no idea how that turns out, but I've done like other dolls, like um, Lady Lovey Locks kind of dolls. Um, I'm pretty sure how this will turn out. So let's give it a try. I will also show you how to do it on a pixie tail from Lady Lovely Locks. Um, this one actually still has pretty nice factory curls, so I originally wanted to leave it like that, but I've already done like most of the others and it just doesn't compare to when I've done like all the others with like neat curls. I still have one that has a factory curl, so that's okay, So, but I want, want to show you how to do it on that. And what do we need? Actually, I have here lots of can't even see that really. Lots of uh, straws. So these are the small ones, so the normal, normal, normal sized ones um, that I'm going to use on Maiden Curly Crown. And lots of bobby pins here. So you know what bobby pins look like. <laughs> For the pixie tail, I'm going to use this a little bit bigger straw. So let's um, get ahead, start, and um, the clothes are already washed. I just put them on so you have like not a naked doll from the beginning here. Um, but I need to wash um, definitely the um, Cherry Mary Muffin doll as well. She isn't washed. She actually is washed, but I just didn't uh, bother on doing anything with the hair yet. So let's get started. Uh, so obviously we also gonna need like some soap and some conditioner. And for cleaning, I just use this um, magic eraser. And a comb. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting the most essential thing, so, but anyways. Wow. Her head from the back was so dirty and also her chin and everything, wow. I think that's already it for the body. It was just a layer of dirt, so nothing too special. But now let's get on to the hair. Because I have the feeling that the hair is already a little bit like grayish, and um, when you wash it, it gets again a little bit more blonde. I don't know if it makes sense really to use 
real uh, hair shampoo on it, but I'm, I'm just doing it so. for the washing part. The more important part actually is then the conditioner to get it uh, real smooth to be able to brush through it, which still, yeah, there comes a lot of dirt out, which still will be not as easy as you will get through pony hair. Pony hair is different. When you condition pony hair, conditioner then it, it really gets easy to brush through this not so much because it's a different hair like quality pony hair is nylon and this is something with polyester lots of conditioner lots of conditioner more I have already done the three, no, four other, three or four, uh, I don't know, um, cherry berry muffin dolls that I had. I've done like real curls on them and I um, know how it's to brush through it. It's not that easy, so. And you will definitely rip out a little bit more hair than usually what, what you're doing with like when you're um, uh, brushing through pony hair. Then with pony hair you most often do not lose much hair. With these dolls and this kind of hair I have the feeling you rip out more than you actually would like to. But it's, it's not really, you can't really um, like stop that sometimes. I've heard other people using um, those very like small pet brushes as well, those very fine kind of needly ones. Um, I've never tried that. Maybe it is good. I don't have one because I don't have a pet, I don't have a dog or, <laughs> or a cat. My parents have dogs but I don't know if they have these kind of style of brushes. I'm using the same comb that I use for pony hair. So. looks kind of crimped. I'm um, actually pretty... Ooh, maybe should I leave it still? No, I want to try it out. I want to try out to do a boil perm on braids. So I'm just cutting a little bit of uh, stuff that I have here in front, like for the bangs. So. some of the ends just like just like this I'm pretty surprised how much of the crimp is still in so I could just leave it like this let it dry Maybe afterwards I regret doing it, but I want to try out really to make the braids in there. Anyways, let's just jump to Lady Lovely, um, not Lady Lovely Dogs herself, but main curly crown and her hair. Her hair feels different. It is probably again a different material, but I'm pretty sure you also should do like a boy perm on it if you want new curls. Her body is already washed and I uh, renewed like the neckline and everything here. Um, so I'm really um, uh, careful not to rip it out again. <laughs> I will tell you in my follow-up video how I did that. So that's not part of this video. Again, I've washed it a little bit with shampoo, then I've conditioned it a lot, 
brushed through it and now I've rinsed it out with water and I'm brushing through it again just to see if really yeah, everything so smooth feels so good <laughs> feels so good bangs don't forget to separate the bangs I won't like do much on the bangs themselves when they dry I hope that they will just like get back into shape because it's really hard to do things on like very very small cut hair like like these bangs here it's really difficult to put them in curlers or things like that so yeah Just some conditioner, brushing through it, that's it. Okay, now let's start with a made curly crown. I think if you would just leave her like this, she would get probably nice, smooth, like um, hair with just some like loose waves at the end, which would look nice. But I want to do like real extreme curls on her. Because I have the feeling, like I don't know if the doll itself used to like uh, be produced with super huge curls, but I mean her name is Curly Crown and she she's like drawn in those beautiful um, Lady Lovely Locks like art style with like super curly hair. And I don't know, some um, dolls might have like come like some, some production um, badges might have come with like curlier hair than others. I don't know, but that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm using the small straws and then always one or two of these um, bobby pins here. So let's start. I'm separating the hair in pretty small um, like strands of hair I would say to get a really curly look. You can always also do like bigger strands of hair and then separate it in the end but still the curls will get bigger the bigger the sections are that you are doing so i want really small super curly curly hair so yeah. i don't know let's start with maybe something like this this let's start with really small And what I also forget to tell you is, but you probably have that at home, uh, toilet paper. And I'm doing very small pieces here like this. And I wrap them around the ends, like beforehand, like this. That makes it way easier to start on the curling. So, yeah. probably did not see much but now we have one straw with um, the hair wrapped around and secured with two bobby pins and I don't know how, how I should do it so that you can see it better from the other side
twisted um, by themselves like before, like um, to really lay flat on uh, the straw. Otherwise you will get those like cork throughs which are like twisted in itself and then curled. That, that is a look, you can do that, but I personally don't like it. It looks um, not like natural. <laughs> Dolls are natural anyways, but I mean, at least the curls can be. What I try to also not do is like now with the like, like, like bottom hair, let's say, you won't see like where it starts the curl, but the top, I try to not uh, curl it until the very, like until like the head or like, but um, to have it more like still loose here because that can look a little bit ugly when the curl is like not super even or something like that so because when you do a boil perm then it's it's, it's really kind of permanent like that's what i mean just start the curl here and not like super at the top because that can look a little bit strange when it's then it starts oh, somehow strange at the top where everything is curled okay there we are there we go I curled her complete hair which was like um, a task that took a very long time and not all of the curls are like super like neat and super tidy but that's what we're working with right now and now let's get to this little girl and uh, I'm really nervous about um, this but I want to try it I want to try it I tried uh, with these crossed bobby pins. differently um, at the ends. I have no idea if that works but I've done two uh, one after the other maybe that like gives um, the illusion of also one of those crimps at the end. Let's see. And last but not least a pixie tail. That one's pretty easy.
paper at the end to keep the ends um, together. I just used one of those butterfly clips here at the top and yeah. So now let's get to my kitchen where we're doing the boil perm. So a boil perm essentially just means that the hair that you have now like in the way you want it, like curled or like whatever special styles and you want it to stay like that, then you need to heat it up, but you can't like do it with, I don't know, heating, real heating tools. The best way is to put it in nearly or almost boiling water. Um, just very short and then get it out again. I usually, it depends on what I have. If I just have these like pixie tails, these small things that I just like do it in a, in a little like um, in a little bowl of water um, that that's enough but we have three things so I'm taking maybe this um, pan, that's not a pan, what is it? Top. <laughs> um, but still I will just use this to, to heat up the water um, because that will be enough. That definitely will be enough. Turn to them like probably tomorrow, tomorrow in the afternoon or so, to um, to show you how like the result is. I'm pretty sure she will look good. Not exactly sure about that, <laughs> but and this one will also be just a nice curl. So hi, I'm back. For you, that was probably just a second. For me, it's now the next day uh, in the afternoon, and. Here they are, fully dried, and I will now reveal what they look um, when I take the braids and all the curls out. So let's do that. Let's start with the 
smallest and easiest thing and just take out oops um, all of that to reveal what the pixie tail looks now so da -da -da -da. that's it nothing too special but I like it more when it's like a real tight neat curl if it really needs a boil perm or if it would also just uh, um, like stay in the shape if you uh, do it like the pony hair you just do it wet and then leave it like dry and then it already stays I think not because it's a little bit of a different um, hair texture that's why same as with um, the Lady Lovely Locks dolls themselves I recommend doing a boil boil perm so and now let's undo all of those here and see what she looks like looks like this it's like really like a super cork uh, screw like a really ringlet you can leave it like this but I like to separate them so I don't know either two or three and then if the ends don't look good enough or if it's like oh my goodness now I now it's like completely I don't know uh, not not looking good anymore you can always like like um, turn it in the direction that the curl like goes and then and then reshape it a little bit of trial and error sometimes I also don't know oh what direction is the curl like for example also when these ends are now like loose here um, you can totally redo it like even if it's like one big curl still you want to keep it like this something like this but I like to separate them so more curly of course the hair shortens the more you like really curl it the, the like tighter the curls are the shorter it gets 
um, you could like maybe um, if you would put some like hot water on top of it like lay it flat a little bit more but I'm like really happy with it this is like the fullest it can get like definitely Okay, now let's try how, how this works, yeah. I mean, it's not as neat as uh, the other um, like factory uh, crimp was, but if you manage to do like really even um, like braids, which probably I did not, but um, then it can get really, really neat. And the ends are okay. I was most like uh, worried about the ends, but what I did is like with these two, um, bobby pins like like this then you already have like one crimp line there or two that's almost as, as if there were two more like waves so you're a little bit more talented than <laughs> than what I was with the braids then you can uh, achieve definitely a good uh, result but like I like it more than what before because it's not as f uh, fizzy frizzy <laughs> it's a little bit more like together like tight um, yeah pretty pleased how uh, they turned out uh, it was like um, a thing I absolutely had no idea if that looks good but I like it I really like it and this turned out like I think it's the curliest thing I've ever done except to my own hair I've done these things to my own hair as well but like to a doll or pony like to a toy oh my goodness I wish the hair would be longer though still with these Extreme curls, but it's just something that's not possible. Then she would need like hair on, until her feet. But like, um, and like the the pixie tail, I'm always like happy when when they have like a neat curl. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I found it interesting which techniques you can use for um, um, curling hair that is not nylon, so that it is not pony hair, but something like these Terry Mary muffin dolls. These. Uh, lady lovely locks that have polyester so uh thank you for watching see you real soon and may the frost be with you bye